Welcome to another episode of VK Says. I am Blessing Kure. Yes, if this is your first time coming across my vlog, this is a weekly vlog that comes on Sunday. So I've gotten lots of emails from y'all saying you want a general recap of how camp was. I camped in Emo State and I did an NYC diary, a weekly diary, summarizing everything. But for those that are going for Badge B, that's uh, 2018, that's July. I'm going to be telling you the things I wish I knew before camp. I googled a lot and went on YouTube, but nobody honestly told me what was sopping in the whole NYC thingy. So I freestyled and I'm here to save you. You're welcome. I compiled a list from some of my friends and it's basically a list of all the things they wish they knew. Number one, don't make so many photocopies. I'm telling you, the page I saw, the list, there's this list that goes on. You probably have a copy now, right? Okay. So just that list, number one, instead to make 10 or 20 copies of each of your credentials. I went to camp with a folder that looked like I was going to be for a job for the next 200 years. I'm telling you, I didn't use up to three copies. So my advice to you is just make at least five photocopies in case one gets wet or you misplace a few. Five photocopies of your basic documents. You don't need your birth certificates or your church something or your other other awards except if you're a national awardee or something major or a foreign student make sure you go with all your documents because as a foreign student you get to be you have this clearance thing they keep checking and checking and checking to make sure you actually school in the abroad mm -hmm. so the first thing is don't make so many photocopies the second one is do not snap so many passports i currently have 36 passports i took because they told me I would need double passports i was wondering what kind of, why would i need 36 how many offices could possibly be in nyc office and I made those many passports, but I have them stashed. Thank God now I don't have to take passports for the next few years. So, uh, except if you want to keep passports for the next couple of years in your life, then it's okay. But if you don't want to, just make at least five copies. You may not need them because you need to take the one with the crested vest. Yeah, I, we wear white to go for CDS afterwards. Um, but when you're going to camp, preferably get like three personal whites because the whites they give you, sorry Nigeria, I'm just, this is a very honest video, the whites they give you just end up jumping up. Mine was like cropped up the first time I washed it and it was really light. So it just jumped up. Try and get yourself shorts. Maybe I'm not something that is going to be too lengthy on the knee or slightly above the knee. Um, something that can dry fast. You need that one in case it's wet or it's rainy. And shoes. God, this is something I wish somebody had told me before I went to camp. I, in one of my videos, I think the first week I complained about having blisters on my toes because of my canvas. Someone, the advice I got was get a rubber canvas. You don't know rubber canvas, eh? That's the one that you can dip in water and just flap it and it dries. I know you want to go to camp and create a new identity for yourself, but I'm telling you, buy yourself a rubber canvas because the other one is not going to dry. That was a painful reality. I'm going to be dirty and you're going to be thinking about your money every single step you take in camp and something spoils your canvas. So get yourself a rubber canvas, preferably uh, two sizes above your normal size. It may look funny outside camp, but trust me, when you're in camp, it's just going to be the norm because after the first few people start cutting their canvas and making it more comfortable. So if you finish that in the first few days, don't worry, you'll join in and you'll soon be the chic person on camp. Stuff for your if you have allergies go with your medicine if you have any diseases that you need to document maybe you should put that in your medical report to make sure it's well documented except it's going to go that way i'm not going to say which way but just make sure the disease is captured in your medical report because you're going to have a problem convincing anybody that you have any ailment if it's not on your medical report as hold your buckets i know you want to be paying this is the time to go to nyc as i said nyc is a place where everybody feels okay i'm going to a new state and i have an opportunity to create a whole new identity for myself right but you probably want to hold your bucket because a bucket of 200 naira goes for about 500. Everything is basically times 100. I bought a SIM card of 100 or 200 naira for almost 700 naira. And I didn't have a choice because it was either buy or walk away. So research to know the network that works well in that area so you would go prepared. Don't do subscription. You probably won't have time to use all that data up. Um, buy your bucket maybe a pool bucket for because the toilets may be bad i don't know how messy it is but the toilets may be bad the next important thing you need to know is that the food may not be a five-star hotel standard so you have to visit something they call the mommy market yes i captured a few of it in like the third week so check my week three of the nyc diaries um you would probably be eating there a lot if you don't want to go to the dining so just make sure you don't spend so much money guys a couple days uh, about five that they have to spend on ladies ladies this is an opportunity for you to chop his money i'm not advising but if you can go ahead so okay mommy and for guys your money is about to go down so you probably don't want to holler at too many ladies because you're going to pay for it in mommy market eventually you're going to tempt me later for this trust me a lot of people believe that nyc is the place to find the man of your dreams <laughs> 
I served in Imo. I'm, I'm currently serving in Imo. I camped in Imo camp at some quarry in government, right? As soon as I walk through the gate, I'm like, uh uh, future husband is not here. But, anyways, that's personal. That's my own opinion. But if you feel that you're going to camp to find a future husband, yes, I know that a lot of us have seen the rosy stories. We met in camp, proposals on camp, and all the other beautiful things of life. But you probably want to tone that down a little because you just might they will run you streets babe they will run you streets like better streets and then probably change your number after camp so you want to check out how much you're giving out they will hit you like a gentle breeze babe they will go oh god they will run you streets i i've seen i've seen too much of have fake promises oh, i'll help you get your posting you want to leave this town baby i can work it for you it's a lie they probably some can but most is a lie let me tell you and for the guys the love, whatever love you find here is probably not going to last, so you don't want to okay. withdraw your money. Except if you, you want something in return and you feel your money is going to get it for you, then good luck, but it will probably run you street too. So everybody is prone to be run street. Better be smart. This is not a time to be naive. If you left university naive, grow up because they're going to run you street. And lastly, for all of us who feel that, okay, uh, I should probably get my cereal to be able to take my breakfast. Well, the truth is you won't have time because camp, you have to wake up by five and um, the bigger guy will be there earlier so you may not have time to eat except if you can eat around four o'clock then please don't stash so many cereals in your bag because it's just going to become heavy pick the basics maybe buy a few biscuits or things you can eat um snacks if you have maybe hypoglycemia or you need to eat constantly for whatever reason just get a few things you can go with because you may not have time to eat time just be low and don't pack your bags too heavy i know you want to sleep apart from carnival where you get to be all pain uh, you should probably carry an extra pair of fine shoes for that not heels preferably but or if you want to pageant don't pack so many outfits because you may not use them there are just three sundays in camp so you are allowed to wear a mufti three times in um, in the whole camp experience. So three muftis for your um, Sundays or the amount of Sundays you've predetermined that you want to go to church or uh, you want to go to mosque on Friday. Yeah, predetermined the amount of times you want to go. Then you go with the outfit. And uh, for carnival, you get to dress up, but you're probably still going to wear white and mix it. But some camps let you wear mufti, or if you are playing a specific role, or you're going to be a beauty queen, then you get. Uh, they'll probably rent you a dress for you to be all regal and everything for true. I covered Mr. Macho and Miss NYC pageant that happened in our second week or so. So you should check it the way the guys rub so much baby oil. I finally found out that it's no ground oil. So I was wondering where it was actually rubbed so much but not bit sorry baby oil on the body and come out to model and the ladies come out in pageant outfits and everything. Above all, you have to be security conscious. I know you think you've made friends, but you don't know anybody from Adam or probably some people from your school, but you don't know who these people are, so you cannot probably trust people with your whole life. All of us who like to throw your life or your whole life experience on people, just be careful so you don't regret doing that later. Things you wouldn't mind getting out, you can share, but if you think the secret is there to you, you don't know where you're going to this person, so you should probably put a zip on your mouth. So uh, these are the things I've... I feel I should have known in camp or things people said they felt they should have known before going to camp and I hope you find this video helpful some way and if you do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel help a copper today and uh, help a prospective core member that's PCM get used to being called that before your inauguration right yeah. inauguration get used to being called that before your inauguration because they're going to keep calling you PCM You have to take note of the bigo guy, the morning guy. You will hate him eventually, trust me, because you will listen to him so much, so much. 